Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age. The Veil Guard. Maybe if I say the Veil Guard it'll help. I think Dragon Age Inquisition. You know, it's like there's no the, the Inquisition, you know? So, there's the dagger clipping through my armor. Very cool. I actually have black paint like this. I was gonna return it, but now I'm like, maybe I'll do stones. My rooks, um, phallusling. That'll be fun. Oh, are we gonna go to Saharan? I mean, it's, they said that they're in a stalemate now, and apparently, see, that's the thing. I'm also like, they're like, oh yeah, the Q, some of the Kunari soldiers got bored and came over here. I'm like, how large of a contingent would have to do that? You know what I mean? Like, and also, like, they've been like brainwashed for forever like and maybe i don't know maybe they've uh like there's just a constant war like wears on you like it does right but like i have a hard time imagining that these guys like what are they gonna do after this you know what i mean like i i just they they can't go back they'd be hunted down by other canari for the rest of forever like i'm just i'm a little my mind is a little blown you're all the way over here. Arlathan's all blobby. No. The Anderfells. I am so excited to go to the Anderfells. That's probably what will pick up, pick up Devrin. Well, I hope I'm saying his name right and remembering it correctly. The S Saharan has the Fog Warriors, and I'm, my friend Lemonzy has been wanting to like play as one of those or interact with them for a really long time. Why is everything singing? Look at the corals! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, is this back at the beginning? Okay. Weird. Oh, yeah, because we have to go where the broken bridge is. Oh, I was trying to jump, but I don't have to. Okay, now what? Spite? What are you? Fine. He says he can get us across. Who is he? The demon. Uh -huh. He says there's something here. Something he can grab hold of in the Fade. It's close. So, is it a spirit then? And not a demon? Or has it been turned against its nature? So you turn a spirit against its nature, it becomes a demon. Some, it can be forced to become one, right? As you wish. As you wish. demon pulled all of that from the Fade? I'm as surprised as you. Okay, so the demon's a new acquisition. Ooh, baby. Thank you, demon. Spite. Thank you, Spite. Spite as... Okay, so what was it... Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're good. Uh, what was it before it became Spite, then? A love spirit? Spite. That's a particular kind of anger, though, you know? Like, a... Like, you take actions out of spite, you know what I mean? Like, being being slighted and then doing it. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to kill somebody or anything, but sometimes people, like, I knew a guy who got his master's degree purely out of spite, is how he said it, fueled him. Uh, because he hated the way things were being run on some of the crews he was on, so and he was sick of taking orders from people he felt didn't know anything, so out of spite he went and got, um... Like, but it's like more petty. I think it's like a... Not petty in a bad way, it's just like, you know... It can be petty, a petty anger, but like with, with vitriol, you know? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Vanatory at odds with her creations. Not surprised they lost control. Blood. Blood. Oh, oh nice. Never learn. Zara can summon all the demons she wants, but they don't have to obey her. Ooh, I think it's, ooh, I thought I did it, but I didn't do it, I don't think. Ooh, I did it wrong. I'm trying to, trying to time my throws. Look at him go, though, by the way. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did that one, too. Oh, my health is low. My health is bad. I did not realize. I was like, why is everything so blurry? Dang it. Oh, I did it. Oh, 
I have a thing. Sick. Alright, stop. I really am just enjoying chucking. What want all these undead for? Nothing. Those are the failures. If those are failures... I just got a rune. Um... They grant the Lyrium Dagger combat powers. Grant new Lyrium Dagger combat powers. I didn't know I had any. What does success look like? She took the best results out a few days ago, but some of the demons she created are still here. I just bought a little dragon statue. Oh, caretaker power. Could I give the caretaker a little dragon? Oh, yes. Let me do that. Um, character. I did it. So good at a rune for the first. He does necrotic damage. Oh my gosh, same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I guess oh maybe maybe it would be bad to bring him out because I also will be doing necrotic damage and will be kind of at a disadvantage against enemies that are resistant against necrotic damage. Coming to terms with the drama he faced means Lucanus can now work with Sprite to tap into the divide between the fade. I mean, I'm glad he came to terms with it. Why is that an Inquisition symbol down there? Um, apparently off screen. Why is there so much fresh food down here? Like, I get the Venatori had to eat, but like, it looks like a market down here, you know? How did he get out, by the way? A common longsword. Oh! <gasps> Let's see, maybe I'll switch to that look, too. Hello, little friend. They're kind of, they're so cute. They're like, ooh, look at these other lantern things or whatever. And I'm like, but look at this cute little floating guy. <laughs> look at this. I've, I'm attached to it now. Even though they're all different. Uh, but now it's just a little guy, and I want to have it around all the time. Caliban, you said he's the one in charge? No, he's a lucky. He runs this place for a powerful magister. Well, he's in charge here. He was my target a year ago. Now we both want him dead. A year? We meaning... Demons. Don't oh. forgive. Oopsie. Can I not... There's something up there. Let me have it. I couldn't jump with the crystal on me. Oh. Oh, there was something else there. Oh. Oh. I'm glad the caretaker's just like, Wah! I keep throwing power at it. A practice puzzle box for securing messages. Once painted, repeatedly buried, countless times passed between secret hands. It opens manually. Attempts to scry the contents will trigger six spring-loaded spikes. Wow. My little friend. I'm not 100%. I was like, I'm not 100% sure where we're going, but we're good. I do like that so far, fall damage isn't really a thing. Well, I... These demons, there's something off. The Venatori have done something. They're why this place exists. This is what success looks like. Oh. <laughs> Seeing the necrotic blast, too, was really neat, honestly. Shifting shot. Yeah, seeing the necrotic blast was cool. When I took the potion. Mythal! A mythal statue! Oh, hi. He looks very cool when he does that. I mean, I just... I feel like I've passed a place where I would use the little orb by now, you know what I mean? Lots of soulless stuff. Oh, they're resistant to necrotic. Oh, but they're vulnerable to freezing. Oh, how did I... I don't know, I didn't know I activated it, but apparently I did. Oh. Ah! <gasps> what? Did you? <laughs> Hang on, yeah, 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 cool. Uh, oh, that looks horrifying. Let's look at it. Nope. Um, there is like a dinosaur out here. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's potentially one of the big whale things, but it's bigger, I think it's bigger than the whale things. Is it a dragon? 
Maybe a dragon? That's incredible. Hold on. That's really cool. I feel like I've missed whatever I needed this for, but I'm gonna carry it around. Oh, I did. It, it probably, I was carrying it around for too long and I, it went back to its little home. All right, well, I missed whatever that was. Mierda, oh, oh. guys. Let me hit him first, then you can take him down. Oh. Ow! I was waiting for you to hit him first. Oh, but did he just say Mierda, like, like, the, like, saying shit in Spanish? Like, is that what he just did? Very cool, honestly, doing that. Oh, Mythal, what has become of your places? That guy was cool. I should have, um, he had like Reaper sides. Warden's Tower approach. Oh, like Prison Warden. I was like, eh? Okay? <laughs> he is right up in my grill right now. Listen, I was, um, I was taking a quick drink break, but, um... Mm. <laughs> mm. She's... Let's see. She's even got a little smile on, and it's funny. Anyway, don't mind me. I don't even know. We'll see, we'll see. Um, the Antivan voices are not number one for me. That's not good. So we'll see how things we go. Have much time. I may flirt with him though, just in case. Let me get this jar, please. This way, there's a shortcut. Wow. Lead the way. Oh, this is beautiful though. Seeing so much more of the gold filigree is so nice. And I can't tell if that, like, circular symbol, if that's supposed to be, like, Solus. Probably is. Like, a symbol for him. Or not the circular one, the, like, half one? I don't know. These can't all be Solus and Mythal things. They have to be, uh, there have to be other gods represented here. Wow, horrifying. Oh, oh, over here. Oh, okay. Of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, he gets wings! He gets wings! It's sick! I don't think he can fly fly, but he can like, it'll like give him some lift, you know? Oh. Look at that! They're like bone wings! Very- Did you see that? He was like- I think they did that anyway. It looks like it's maybe under a timer too. Like it sounds like it. The crevasse. Yep. Any help, Bucko? Oh, no, okay. We can use our own two little leggies. Sometimes I have frame drops, I feel. Maybe you guys won't see it because the recording looks fine, but I feel like for me, there is a, a hint of some frame dropping. I mean, we're probably going to encounter the guy. Any clue where to start, or we'll find those on the way. I know it's here. We can smell it. We're not gonna point out how that's kind of creepy, especially because we could hear him take a big breath. This is really gorgeous. Hello? So something else has obviously come through and killed the vast majority of everybody, and it wasn't Lucana, so... There do be a big demon somewhere, probably. These people... They were tortured. Yeah, well. Damn it. Very few people survive Kolivan's rehabilitation. 
You did. Nothing else to add to that? All right. We need to get that barrier down. Yeah. Find the crystals that power it. Yeah. So we need to get in here. These look like blood vials for sure. Those are empty ones, maybe? No, these are more like lanterns. These look more like lanterns than blood vials. Cool stuff, though. Is it elven or to winter? Hmm? Or both? Wait, we cannot go after Golly Oh, yet. okay, he's in Not here? Not while he has my blood. He's in... In the water? He's in the water. All right. I was just trying to be thorough. Oh, a memory. A memento. A mazic cafe. The coffee killer. This pomace brandy is swirled in a still warm cup and sipped on the move following the Antivan costume of Demitasse in the dining room, murder in the den. I don't know what Demitasse is. <laughs> Sounds like a phrase thing, and I just am unaware of it. Please do it. Let's see what he does. Yeah, look, see, he's like showman about it. Do you see that? He's little like. <laughs> that is funny. Two left. I can't believe, like, I mean, I can't believe, but it's so upsetting to see desecrated sculptures. Oh, this was a myth all from, like, Origins, where she has, like, outstretched, like, wing arms. At least we often assume it's a myth all representation. She seems to have a close association with dragons. She can turn into a dragon. But Gillenon was controlling a dragon, or at least summoned it. I mean, is this one of those things where like I can like give utility belts to my other companions? Cause like I've got a bunch just taking up space. They get trinkets and keepsakes. Well, that's nice. It's one 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 extra thing I don't have to worry about, I guess. I think it's funny. Oh, his like weapons go away when he does a uh, when he does the magical break through the fade thing, even though he's a rogue. That's it. The barrier should be down. Let's see what's on the other side. I kind of can't believe this guy hasn't already done something with the blood vials. Venatori never do anything subtle. Look at that thing. There. That's the one. It has to be. Oh, okay. So these are. This is what, like, half your blood? Like, holy cow. Caliban, you know as well as I do how demanding Zara can be. Nothing less than perfection is ever acceptable. Of course, she's not going to accept that the crow is a failure of her method. Just kill him. Perhaps the demon will manifest when he dies. Hmm. Yeah, but are there any other thing? We should be breaking all these blood vials, honestly. <laughs> Although, to be fair, oh my gosh, my knee hurts. Why does my knee hurt? I can't even do anything. That's probably why. That's probably why my knee hurts. I do go on like a two hour walk in the mornings. Or sorry, a two mile walk. Like two and a half mile? Almost three, maybe? I think about an hour. Because I told myself I'm going to sit down and play video games all day. Uh, I have to like, go walking in the morning. Otherwise, when I go back to work, I'm going to be incapacitated. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, what, what do you want me? What do you want me to do? Break it? Okay. Sick. It's are you? Finally gone. Yeah. Uh, so are you what? gonna be fully? Now we find Galivan. Are you gonna be like fully possessed now? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe that was a bad idea. <gasps> Is that a dread wolf symbol? And it's new. Or maybe new-ish? One... 
a marking inscribed during the rebellion. I think these are Dread Wolf symbols because he has like six eyes. It's like a thing that's like he's associated with. I only see four. I think earlier too. Yeah, on the painting on the wall, there were six eyes, like on that one in the in the room with the piano. I think it must be like a like a symbol of rebellion from when they were doing rebellions. Oh, is this like a? Okay, don't take me. Oh, we're just gonna. Yeah, we all knew this except for me. How do you want me to take the elevator? Oh, okay. I was like, I'm standing. I don't know what you want from me. Anything we should know about Colaban? You want to hear about his torture methods or something else? We didn't chat. It's fine. We can talk about something else. What's Katarina like? After so long in this bit, I barely remember. Has he been here for a year? Hello? I mean, it would be useful to know how to combat this guy, maybe. Oh, this was entirely unnecessary. Zara and her little jests. He's already the demon of Virantium. Won't this be ironic? Uh-huh. Hilarious. And now look at the mess you've made of my facility. She always leaves me to clean up. You look very so pretentious. this is Caliban. He is. The target I was sent for a year ago. A crow never abandons a contract. Abandons. Okay, he's just ready to what try. What offer you in exchange for my life, crow? Was it worth it? Oh, he has wall of fire. Cool. Oh, I did it. Oh, baby. I'm going to kick you in the back. Okay, so this is the trauma that we were talking about. You can't do that anymore. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hang on. That did almost nothing. Calvin's pride. Hilarious. Hilarious. Can I kick it off? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> oh, it's got the friggin' like electric cage, the lightning cage that you can get in the last game. Where did it go? I'm gonna hit you with this. Okay. Very cool. Ooh. Horrifying. Oh, dang it. Oh, it worked on his little dudes. Where is he? Oh, I don't have enough rage, apparently. Oh, God, that guy has a beam? What the hell? He has got to be dead. Okay. Yeah, I would, my bond would be increased with somebody that I helped to do it. The crow sent their regards. He what? Since when was so did the your target? Since when did the yes. demon? The job's done. Manifest. It smells like blood. Ashes. Not done. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Lucanus, are you all right? Lucanus, what are you looking at? Oh. They know. We're not right. You cannot see him. I wondered. We clearly have things to discuss. Somewhere else. Interesting. Agreed. I think it's time I got some air. It's surprising if he's been in here for a year that they let him keep his armor. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, you doing okay there? Ooh. You get a new, um, a really good rapier. Nice. Anything, anything else for me? I mean, there's something up there. Hold on, hold on a second. Wrap up any, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Records from the ossuary. I'm pretty sure ossuary is like a bone thing. Like it means like bone something. Number of prisoner cells, each followed by a single word. Little word. Despair, shame, and horror. Page after page. And this is obviously like they're trying to get like regular people uh, affected by demons potentially like not mages to like increase you know just how terrible they are exploring the ossuary 
Can't even cross. Lady Zara, the work is progressing slower than anticipated, though the artificers were confident that they could make use of the elven device maintaining the barrier. They were unable to extend its reach more than a handful of yards in any direction. Most frustrating, I sacrificed the worthless fools that gained us another six feet or so. Okay. What we have thus far excavated has proven most interesting. The structure appears to have served as a temple to the elven goddess Gilanon. Then what? I mean, the, then why are there mythal statues in Van Harel ones? Why is there a demon guy behind that Antiven Crow woman on that picture? Uh, I thought the tales of her creating various woodland creatures was mere superstition, but the holding cells in cages with the remains of animals no one can identify suggests otherwise. You should visit. I think you will find the place intriguing. Your servant, Calvin. Okay, I thought maybe that the Venatori had put those cages in. Some, like, somehow. But, like... Uh, Mm, apparently, I mean, obviously it was also preventatory with, like, the banners and stuff. Like, they've obviously put new stuff in here. But, no, this is where it's like, oh, yeah, we thought Gilanon was, like, the, you know, the creator goddess, you know, or a creation type goddess who, like, makes life and blah, blah, blah. But she was, like, doing violent, horrible experiments and making monstrosities. Like, yeah, I can't sit up straight for very long. I got a slouch, I'm, even though I'm like halfway down the picture, <laughs> halfway down, halfway down the webcam at this point. Um, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't sound like that Zara. Ooh, I bet you she's one of those ones that we're gonna have to track down because she sounds like somebody that like, get along with Gillen on really well. My oh my! Let me in. Give me the goodies. What else do you have for me? Skull Crusher. Okay. Do I just have, like, infinite inventory also for these kinds of things? So is this the Gillanon symbol, then? With the, just the arch. Like that. I have to use my actual eyes to look at things. How dare. Alright, Lucan, Lucanus. I always wanna, I wanna do, like, the soft C. Not a hard C. Shall we go? Sure, you're gonna, um, you know, teleport us out? I'm ready to get out of this place. Imagine how I feel. It's interesting that they went to the effort of disguising his death, too. Obviously, they didn't want the, the crows to be hunting them down. But has this grandma, like, left this for, like, a year? Like, it feels like a lot. <sighs> Make it. Look at this. What happened here? A message from Zara Renata. I can't believe it. You're home. I don't trust him. Zara? Her people got these clothes? The woman who runs the prison? The Venatory witch who captured me. Revenge for the breakout, maybe. Where's Katarina? She is. The Venatori caught her in the confusion. What? I get one of you back, only to lose the other. And she doesn't even get to see her grandson back. Lucanus, I'm so sorry. I need to work. Are you sure? You should take some time. I don't need time. I need a target. You just got here, and already you want to leave again? Katerina gave me a contract. I'm not breaking the last deal she ever made. And I owe Rook. Once that's done, I'll come home. That's right, she did promise that we would have the use of him. I'll return him in one piece. Thank you. I mean, that's it. When you find Sara, I want, I need to be there. We are under attack. Antam on one side and Ovenatori on the other. Forget revenge. We need you. No, Viago. Sara came for us here, in my house. She took Katerina from my house. You find her and cut her heart out, Lucanis. 
V and I will hold down the fort. That guy looks I'll capable. I'll give her your regards, Taya. For Katerina. But that guy does not. I mean, she obviously does. This woman seems to be running the place, but like. The crows had lost a talon. But the demon of Irandium was free at last. Bled. Uh oh, who that? Sooner who? or later, debts new and old would come due. Is that Gillenon? And they would all be paid in blood. I would bet you. Or Katarina, <gasps> or is that Zara? <gasps> I was like, or Katarina. I don't know if she's dead or not, or if they just assume she's dead. I wonder if that Zara is she's been promised like eternal youth or something. They're the same thing. Mostly, kind of. Except one will manipulate you, or kill you, or both. But how do you get rid of them? Um what's everyone talking about? Demons! Spike. The demon in Lucanus. When a person gets possessed, the demon usually takes control. And they turn into a monster. The spirit just molds them however they want. I've heard of abominations being cured by killing the demon in the Fade. That's not a sure bet, though. Well, there's one way, but it's, well, we'd have to, um... You'd have to kill me. You'd have to kill me. Well, that's awkward. No, I like her. She's fun. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> I want to talk to her. Before we do, well, that's that, so spooky. Let's think this through some more. There has to be a solution. I have people in Marathas I can ask, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. All right. So what next? Let me talk to them. I want to talk to. Them. Oh, Lucanus. Nope. It's fine. I'm fine. What did he do that for? Throwing a tantrum when he doesn't get his way. But he could just take you over. Make you do what he wants. It's, you know, not great, but kind of good news, in a way. I mean... Like, why is, uh, we haven't addressed why the demon isn't, isn't taking him over. Like, what is holding the demon back from taking over? Lucanus, you know, like is it his will or the way the demon was implanted or something? He's done this before? Enough that you just shrug it off? He'd do this in the ossuary. The Fae does whatever his spirit wants. Real walls and chains, not so much. Just give me a minute. He'll get bored once everyone leaves. <laughs> That's really sad, actually. Uh, uh, okay, listen. I thought this I'll keep an eye on you would be the, uh, be the romancy one, but obviously I know that the demon is harassing him because of me right now, but I, she doesn't know that. Rook doesn't know that. I don't like leaving you alone with the demon. I, you don't have to worry about me. Lucanus. <laughs> Please. I mean, I honestly think, I think it's not necessarily romance, it's like care, especially initially. So you're not like, that, that feels better than just like jumping in and being like, hey man, you're hot, so let's bone. You know what I mean? His reunion with the crows was bloody by a counterattack from Zara. Well, how does Zara know? I'm telling you, man, I don't trust. I don't trust that grandson, the other grandson, not this one. This and Tiva is in rough shape under the Antoms' occupation. It's I should not, see how the crows are doing. It's not the Antom. It is Talvashoth. They're Talvashoth at this point. If they have, unless the the unless the Antom leadership has directed them to go to Antiva, which it doesn't seem like they have, because they're under like small warlord rule, you know. Like, then it's not the on time. 
Ooh, I think the greenery is coming back. Yeah. Okay, I think with the more people we get here, maybe? I, I think maybe I'm just making it up, but I do think this greenery is new. Is this where you're gonna hang out now? Oh my gosh, and we have like a nice kitchen set up now. I really like this. It's looking less and less, like I feel like we, it was like really like grim and like there were no plants and there was dirt and dust everywhere. And then Lucanus gets here and he goes on a cleaning spree and a planting spree, like everywhere. Like the rest of us were like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. I love not taking fall damage. How is it going? Oh, okay. You asked for time. Is this long enough? It was two seconds. Yes, my head's clearer. Though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, <laughs> I mean. Have you? Not today. <laughs> You've got questions. You might as well ask them. Oh, yeah. His voice is growing on me. His voice is growing on me, I will say. It's just like Zevran, right? Where it like took a bit but grew on me. I know Katerina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it. Especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Brooke. Such as? Yeah. I owe you a debt, for one. All right, we did get him out. after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. Oh, I feel like you should be very not in good shape either, you know? You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I knew it. I had a contract for Koliva. I knew it. In the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Minrathus. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. Yeah, uh, no, that guy, that grandson, and he killed off Katarina too? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm The crossroads can be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you we see hope. a spirit around called the caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so... I try not to do it much. That no doesn't... one was in the ossuary by choice. Not even the demons. So he's sympathetic. We both did what we had to to get out of there. Oh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna jump right into the flirting I hope it's I hope it's just kindness. Somebody told me that the conversational options feel pretty natural. So I'm hoping for that. Um, but I, I like that even after all this time and with Spite not being really kind to him, um, he still realizes that they were all in that prison and nobody wanted to be there, right? And the spirits got turned into something that they didn't want to be, you know? So, if you're an abomination... I suppose I should get used to that. <laughs> but I heard that only mages can get possessed by demons. I'm skilled with a blade, but I promise you, without spite, I have the magical talent of a brick. <laughs> there must be some difference between a demon deceiving the their way into a body things? and being forced into one. Only Zara knows for sure. The, I don't know, like the pet lapel pins? The crow lapel pins? I've actually been looking for like really cool like raven like hairpin type things. I think that would be fun. Or like, like, something, like something that you could put in your hair. Or I've seen cool ones you could put at the end of a braid. Um, and I need to make a small list for those because they're cool. And I want to at least look at them and put them on a wish list. <laughs> Be like, for my birthday, this is what I want in my family. <laughs> hmm. What matters you out? What sets Spite off? Is a good question, but like, I don't know. Also, like, I don't, we haven't, he hasn't really talked about his experience, so it's like, this feels a little for It's like, I admire your courage. I'm like, we haven't even really talked, you know? But, I mean, he's obviously very uh, determined, what is it, like, driven, you know? I don't know if I'd call that courage, necessarily, but... 
I admire you. What you've been through would break most people. I would not give Zara the satisfaction. Still, you must be a very courageous man. A very stubborn one, perhaps, yeah, but yeah. that's kind of you to say. It is, it is kind Leaves of you. to me. If he's trapped in this world, he has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods, magic, politics. Hmm. Things are going to get very bloody. <laughs> He's like, yes. Also, it's nice to see that like the crows, at least in this instance, are a bit of a family business, you know? Um, and not like ye olden times. Also, why is he in the pantry? Why is he in a pantry? Surely we can find a room for him that's not in a pantry. Although, maybe he thinks it's safer in here? Or he's more contained? I wouldn't want him with the food, though, if the demon gets out. Also, if he doesn't sleep very much, that's bad. You know, that's a bad thing. Um, like, it makes you sloppier, you know? The legendary hollow leaving streaks of gold in its wake. An altar to Fenhorel decayed by age and time. How did I get this one? I'm not gonna change the statue from Fenhorel to Gillanon. It feels very dumb. It's a very pretty statue though. Um, also, it's Solus's house changes decor in the room maybe but not you know out here oh are the banners new things are lighting up things are looking nice it did look very crumbly earlier but i think the ca oh the caretaker has gotten better too that's probably what it is it's not the people we've picked up necessarily but maybe all the caretaker -y things i'm picking up so the caretaker is actually able to like have the wherewithal to do things. That's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go. We finally met Lucanus. Now I need to get a hold of Devrin and the necromancer, whose name I actually don't know, but I know his skeleton is voiced by Matt Mercer. So, <laughs> yay! But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying. And I'm gonna cut away to my Patreon thank yous now. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So, queue up two codex entries. The Quote. The Crows and Queen Madrigal. The first crow refused to speak, even when we put hot coals on the soles of his feet and peeled the skin off his face and hands with a paring knife. He opted instead to chew through his own tongue and choke to death on the blood. The second captive repeated what we already knew. Queen Madrigal went on a hunt and did not appear for the evening's festivities. Her body was later found with four steel swords through the chest. I asked what he knew about one of the four swords being a replica of Hesarian's Sword of Mercy. He had not heard about that, or at least claimed as much. He, died on, he later died on the rack, smiling slightly. The third crow must have realized he would not leave the dungeon alive. He seemed to hope that by angering Master Fior, he would earn himself a quick death. The crow tried our patience with pithy comments while Master Fior was trying to work. At one point, I, he made a remark about Fior's mother, which I shall not repeat here. I will admit to feeling admiration for his ability to retain a capacity for co coherent speech, even some wit, under, so, under extreme duress. Amid all his useless chatter, this third crow did raise an important point. His guild had a reputation to uphold. They are ruthless, efficient, and discreet. How would they maintain such notoriety if agents routinely reveal the names of employers with something as banal as torture? This gave me pause. I called a halt to the session. After some thought, I stabbed the man through the heart and set the fourth and fifth crow captives free. If there is a confession to be instructed, I, it will not be done with pain. I recommend we abandon this course of action. A report by Captain Aristide, tasked with investigating the assassination of, the assassination of Queen Madrigal of Antiva. It is interesting that the, he even let. I would. I think he, I would have assumed he would have just killed the other, like the fourth and fifth crow. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy to me that the crows are so loyal, or at least maybe proud of like the reputation that they have. Right? Like you think a, a big enough organization, you would have weaknesses in it. Um, especially because the way Zevran explains it in Origins, it's not a kind environment to grow up in, you know? And it, uh, there are different houses, and potentially Zevran was at a bad house, you know? Like a house that did not, like that just bought slave children, and then, you know, pretty ones especially, because it was easier for them to sneak into places. Um, but 
Yeah, it's like, okay, I think they're trying to kind of tone the crows down a bit in this one, even uh, maybe just at least this house, right? But I forgot that they were organized into houses. The Dalish Elves. I took the road north from Val Royo towards Navarre with a merchant caravan. Jenny TV. <laughs> Jenny TV. <laughs> a scant two days past the Orlesian border, we were beset by bandits. They struck without warning from the cover of the trees, hammering our wagon with arrows, killing most of the caravan guards instantly. The few who survived the arrow storm drew their blades and charged into the trees after our attackers. What a, what a dumb idea to charge into the trees. Why would you do that? Uh, we heard screams muffled by the forest, and then nothing more of these men. After a long silence, the bandits appeared, elves covered in tattoos and dressed in hides. They looted all the supplies and valuables they could carry from the merchants and disappeared back into the trees. These, I was informed later, were the Dalish, the wild elves who lurked in the, lurked in the wilderness on the, fringe, on the fringes of settled lands, preying upon travelers and isolated farmers. These wild elves have reverted to the worship of their false gods and are rumored to practice their own form of magic, rejecting all human society. From Brother Jenna TV. Yeah. And this is one of the early bits of the Dalish. And it's like, the lore expands on them that they're not all, like, some of them do resort to banditry. Then you have some, like, and I think even in Origins, they state, like, some Dalish openly trade and have decent relations with, like, local human groups that they wander, you know, they wander in an area. Like, a, they never stay in one place for too long. They don't want to overstay their welcome. And they don't want to be easy prey, you know? So... But they will have, like, fine relations with whatever villages are in the area, you know, and they openly trade. And some, I don't know if we'll get the entry here, but like I said, would just, especially just like some of them went to the Arlathan Forest and just, like, became total recluses. And some of them do become bandits, right? Um, and some of them are mostly just, like, some tribes will only kill if you come too close or if you um, are a threat to them. But some of them, you know, are bandits as as would any group in the wilderness eventually sometimes turn to right human human groups do it uh, the canari the like the talva shot that run off they basically become mercenaries you know all right really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my acorn tier patrons thank you so much fane for your support i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons reese galito thank you so much and sebastian james thank you so much i appreciate your guys' support uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.